So I want to share some of my understandings on the topic of original faith. And as we've been talking about Jesus, Jesus, or another name by which I've heard him called, Yeshua ben Yosef, was the son of man. And the Christ spirit is the son of God. And each one of us are a son and daughter of man. We are flesh and bone incarnated into living in the realm of mankind. And each one of us, under whatever name or to whatever degree, have a relationship with the Christ Spirit, the Son of God, the Father within, the inner self, the higher self, universe, creator, wonderful one. So many names. And what I saw that Jesus did in the living example that he came to bring and brought through his life was a union with the son of man, the outer man, the personality self, the outer mind, with the son of God, with the father within. I and the father within are one. And as coming into that place, then the living Christ was embodied in flesh, unified radiation from the spiritual source of who we are in our highest reality into our temporal experience here in the world. So full. And I believe that's. It's a space of original faith because that is the original state. Us knowing the truth of the one within as ourselves so that it expresses through ourselves so that the Son of God and the Son of Man is one. Actually living it. Because knowing the one that knows and coming to the space where the one that knows expresses through every thought, word, and deed, informing the expression of the human self in the human world. Well, that, that part of our self is already tapped into the plans of perfection and all of the divine patterns and everything that happens when that is coming from God, is coming from source, is coming from the Father, and the Christ experience is there. So I think we have a, uh, well, I don't think Jesus was the first one to do that, and I'm absolute, he is not the last. So this is a experience that is available for all of us as human, humankind. And I think original faith doesn't even really require faith. The way that we understand faith from the separated perspective as the outer man within the outer mind trying to figure out the outer world. Like, here's how I've seen it happen in myself and others. Things aren't going the way I want. I don't like what's happening. I just got to have faith that some higher power is going to step in and change things so that I'm happy and comfortable and I, I get some of my, what I want. I got to have faith that my side will win in a war or a sports game. And maybe we evolve out of that a little bit. And we come into another space where I, I let go of having what I want, things needing to be a certain way for me to be happy. 
I'm just going to trust that some greater power is holding it all and things will unfold. Even though I don't understand it, I can't see it. I'm just going to trust that it's all leading out to some perfect outworking. And that's a step up. But the step up into the original space of faith is knowing through responding so fully. Jesus responded so fully to the Father within that he came into oneness, a union with that Christ's spirit. And then the unified radiation of that was his life, which we have whatever recordings of to whatever accuracy. They still hold vibration. And you can tap into that. This is a teaching emissaries teach. It's something that's available to every human because we do have a divine self and we are a human self. And the two can be one. In which case, we don't have to believe we know. <laughs>